Terry Williams. I'm with Omaha Public Power District, Division Manager of Corporate Communications. And your function here at the Power Drive is? Well, you know, I kind of got it easy. I'm just, the, I'm just the mouth. I just get to talk about what's going on here and uh, kind of a spokesman for the program. Um, as you know, Bill, since you're the guy that brought this to us, uh, to 11 years ago, uh, we've been involved with Power Drive for 10 years. And uh, about nine years ago, we brought in the Nebraska Public Power District, joined with them to take the program statewide. So high schools across the state of Nebraska, some high schools from the state of Iowa uh, have all participated. We've had some interest from uh, colleges and uh, post-secondary institutions that have taken part in the program. Um, there's a representative here from Wyo Tech in Laramie today. So uh, we've had Wayne State College, University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and, and a lot of, uh, just a whole lot of people involved and interested in this power drive program. And it's been great to see its evolution over the years. So kind of describe for us how the whole program works then. What, what is your sure. role and, and what what's involved in setting this up? Well, it's it's really a volunteer effort and, and my part of it is, is probably the least uh, important of all of it. There, there's a, a steering committee that gets together and it consists of people from OPPD, NPPD, and the educational committee. And they kind of design the program. They design the rules under which these students compete. There's a very strong educational component. It's not just build a car and go out and run it on the track. The idea is to build a car that is maneuverable, that brakes well, that's highly safe, that has good endurance capabilities and can run for an hour on a couple of batteries. Along the way, we expect these students to document what they do and tell us enough about their in their documentation that somebody could pick those uh, books up and recreate what they've done. So it's a, it's a highly thought-provoking process, although we've had people get involved who say they just want to learn to weld, you know, so it, it really covers the gamut of an educational experience for these students. How many how many teams participate typically in the program? Wow, it's grown. Uh, the first year we had, I think we had 12 cars. I don't think we had that many schools. Uh, some built two, but uh, we've gone from about 12 cars 10 years ago. Typically, I think uh, we have about 60 cars here today, and there may be upwards of 70, 80 schools that get involved over the course of a year. Not everybody is successful in getting a vehicle built. Um, it requires a lot of time and effort on the part of the instructors and on the part of the students. Some build it into their curriculum. Some have it as an after-school activity. Um, they handle it however they want to handle it. Uh, and, and they get different levels of commitment and time from their students as a result of that. So it's a very challenging program. Uh, these, these young people and their teachers work just as hard to put together a good product as any of their athletic teams do. It's a different kind of a discipline, but it's great. Right. So what is it from OPPD's perspective, what is the most rewarding part of, of, of running this program and being involved for the last 10 years? You know, there, there, there are several elements of this thing that are just great. Uh, on a, on a, just a human side, we've had stories from instructors who have said this program was what kept some students in school that might otherwise have dropped out. They were not the, the calculus geniuses or the English geniuses or those, but they were good with their hands. They were just having trouble finding a niche in high school. They were losing interest and they were in serious jeopardy of, of leaving school before they graduated. This program in some cases kept those kids in school. So right there, that's a great reward no matter if anything else comes out of it. But. But the other part from OPD's, OPPD's perspective and NPPD's perspective is that it's a great energy education. Uh, these young people have taken the concept of electric vehicles, of engineering, of design, of technology, and run with it. And every year we see them make advances. And these are the kids that in five years, uh, we've seen it already in, in after they get out of college uh, or, or secondary school, post-secondary school, whatever they're going to do, that uh, go into automotive design that go into different engineering or electric uh, energy fields, and, and they're the ones that are going to come up with the innovations that are going to make uh, our society a better place and that are going to develop energy efficiency, energy efficient methods of, of ways for us to do things. So it's very, it's very uh, encouraging to see that. And the, the most challenging part of, of running this program from your perspective? Well, it takes a lot of people. Uh, I don't know what we expected ten years ago when we first dipped our toes into these waters, but um, it, it's just a big, uh, there are eight competitions across the state every spring. And it takes a lot of volunteers to run these things. Um, so it's just, it's just kind of being able to find those volunteers to support the program. 
Um, it requires, because we've got this educational component and we're very adamant about it, it requires some uh, additional work on the part of a lot of people to, to judge the documentation and, uh, you know, for the instructors to be instructional, those kind of things. But, uh, you know, challenge, it's a, it, it, it's a challenge, but it's sort of a labor of love, I think, for the people involved in it, because you can't come out and watch these kids and doing what they're doing and not walk away thinking, well, gosh, that's kind of that's kind of cool that I was a part of that. Yeah. Um, and that's what brings out these other folks uh, year after year, the volunteers, to do this. You know, I, 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 what, what I am getting a, a tremendous kick out of is now, 10 years ago when we started doing this, electric vehicles were kind of a little boutique type of thing, and oh, isn't that cute, they're little electric go-karts. Well, now you're seeing hybrid vehicles all over the place. You know, we're buying them at work. We're, we're, uh, we're seeing people driving them all over the place on the street now. Well, these kids, that's, that's no big deal to them. They know all about electric vehicles, and they're going to be the ones that are going to be designing better and better uh, hybrid electrics or plug-in uh, hybrids, whatever, you know. Uh, uh, so that's what, that's what is really great about it. Well, let me ask you uh, just sort of a side topic here. I understand that OPPV is looking at actually doing a plug-in conversion. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, that's, uh, we've got a vehicle that we've, uh, and we've kind of made the arrangements to do that. Um, it was supposed to have been underway right now. I think we're in line to get that going sometime within the next few weeks. So uh, as that okay. fleshes out more well. Well, you, you're going to, of course, keep me informed so I can oh, come over of course. and watch. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Okay. Well, you know, you, we, you know, if, if any, there, there may be people you consider the father of power drive. You'd be kind of the grandfather of power drive, uh, yeah, I guess, you. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a great, it's just been a great experience for us. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've never had an easier sell in my company for us to do anything. Uh, my our, our, our management was kind of it was a no it was just a no brainer I mean we, we proposed the idea they said yeah do it never have ever given us a, a heartbeats worth of uh, opposition to it and that applies for the NPPD folks as well I'm sure so it's just been a great community project it's been a great energy project and it's been a great educational yeah. project with as we see this this movement towards plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles how do you see OPPD's response to that being? I mean, you're sure. obviously going to see an increase, you know, demand for electricity. Um, what are your thoughts with respect to that from a utility well, company? Sure, you know, it's, uh, it's you get to the plug-in hybrids, you use off-peak power, you do different things. You know, we're, we're, you, we're looking at a variety of things. You know, is there a way to set up a system where we have renewable energy that is used to recharge uh, some of the, the electric vehicles? Uh, you know, we, we've started a program uh, last summer that would really focus more on sustainable energy and environmental uh, uh, issues. And we've always looked at those things, but it's a stepped up focus on our part. We've got a significant dollar commitment, several million dollars, to develop programs that will uh, be environmentally uh, accountable, that will promote the use of sustainable energy, and promote the use of energy efficiency techniques. It's not just make more energy, it's, it's used energy better the way we're doing it. Right. So uh, our commitment is growing every day, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a community uh, or, or a global issue, if you will, but it's, a, it's an economic issue as well. Okay. So uh, we're taking a good look at all aspects of that and you have to do what makes sense. You know, reliability, reliability's got to be there. People have got to have the power, but they've got to be able to afford it. And, and it's just a whole gamut of things. It's got to be environmentally responsible and, and the whole thing, so that's where we're trying to go.